Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. Joshua 4 verse 14. The day the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel and they stood in awe of him all the days of his life just as they stood in awe of Moses. Um, let me go to the King James Bible. On that day the Lord magnified Joshua in the sight of all Israel and they feared him as they feared Moses all the days of his life. Amplified Bible, on that day, the Lord magnified and exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel. So they feared him with profound awe and reverence, just as they had feared Moses all the days of his life. I'll stop there. <clears throat> we are all familiar with the scripture that says um, promotion comes from the Lord. We may or may not be, but there is a scripture that says promotion comes from the Lord. Um there's a scripture that also says, humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. He will exalt you. You know, the, some of the lessons I've learned the hard way in this life, especially, you know, generational cases are horrible, but there are lessons to be learned from them. And one of the lessons I learned was this, that um, without God, literally nothing can be done. Without the power of God, we can't do anything. You can't function. You can't, you may, we may have the knowledge, but somehow you'll try to put things together. Somehow you'll try to do things and nothing will come of it. That's without the power of God, without the help of God. And the sooner you come to that realization and acknowledge God every day, every minute, every hour of your time, just to say, God, you know, I'm about to go into this meeting, but the truth is, yes, I may be a, a part of this team. I may be, but I can't do anything without you. I can't even begin to talk. I may know the information, but it won't make sense before them. Unless you magnify me before, before men, unless you exalt me, unless, and no, you're not looking for God to big you up. And so you can take all the credit and the glory and be prideful. No, you're saying, I literally can't do this without you. And what did Jesus say? Without me, you can do nothing. Literally, that scripture is so true. The amount of efforts we put in trying day and night, working extra shifts, working extra hours, hoping to make more money. It's not about making more money. There are people who are doing far more with far less money than you have. Again, that's another sad realization I've, I've, I've had to accept. To say, no, God, this isn't about getting a promotion. For me, a promotion isn't about the money. It's about the extra responsibilities, the challenge, the new levels of functioning, right? Seeing new parts of my own new gifts unfold out of me. But it's not about the money because as long as there are still issues with you spiritually, financially, even if you got promoted 10 times over, that money wouldn't benefit you. It's not about the money. It's about God magnifying you and magnifying your abilities and magnifying the work you do and magnifying your efforts and magnifying, um, you know, everything you're about. That's where, that, that's where the power is. That's, that's what you need. It's not about saying, oh, if I can only do that, if I can just work myself up to a PhD, my life will be better. You'll get the PhD. You may get the acknowledgement of man. Uh, of man, but you won't necessarily have a better life unless God steps in and magnifies you and magnifies everything you do and gives you uh, the clout that you need to go to different people and to, to go to different places, to function in different offices. Unless God magnifies you, everything you know means nothing. There are people who are far more knowledgeable than, let's say, the presidents and the prime ministers of some powerful countries. There are people who know more, who could do more, who could do better. But without the promotion and the exaltation of God and the magnification of God, they can't step into those offices. Sadly, even for myself, I know I've lived through stages in my life where I knew just how gifted and bright and talented I am. But sadly, I couldn't function. I couldn't achieve results. I couldn't get anything done for some reason. Now I know what that reason was. Spiritual hindrance is real, guys. And what you need is for God to step in and to exalt you, regardless of what your spiritual enemies are trying to do, regardless of what those, those evil spirits are trying to do against your life. God can exalt you above them, regardless of what they want. But just like Joshua was exalted, Joshua was a man of war. If you had to compare him to Moses, 
Moses didn't even go to war. The only record we read of Moses going to war, okay, the only one I can recall, let me say the only, let me not say the only record because I don't know that for sure. But the only record I can recall of Moses being at war was when his arms were lifted up, when he kept his arms up, exalting God. And as long as his arms were up, the army of Israel was winning. And when he got tired and put his arms down, the army of Israel was being defeated. So then the elders started to realize that, oh, hang on a minute, when his arms are up, when, he's raised, when he raises his, his hands towards God, we win. So then they held him up. You know, the elders came over and held up his arms so he could stay in that position so Israel could win. That's the only time I remember Moses being directly involved in war. After that, Joshua, some time after that, Joshua took over. Now, Joshua was a man of war. But even for him, as good as he was, he needed God's exaltation. The thing is about leadership, when people have had one leader, even if they didn't like that leader, that change in leadership, people can be resentful of the new leader. People can doubt the new leader. People can think, oh my gosh, what's he going to do? People are watching and being skeptical and being unsure. And it's hard to lead people who have no confidence in you. And what you need is the touch of God. It's not necessarily about saying, oh, I'll train harder. I'll work harder. I'll prove to them that I can lead them. You can work hard all you want. Unless God magnifies you before man, you can't, you, you, won't, you won't be there. You won't mean anything to, to the people. So this is about realizing, as I'm talking to you now, some of you are about to, you're preparing for a meeting, you're preparing for an interview, you're preparing. What you need is to say, God, you exalted Joshua before the eyes of Israel. I ask you to exalt me as I walk into this interview, as I go to this meeting, as I go to pitch this business, as I go, whatever big step you're about to take, don't do it without God. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. That's how you acknowledge God and say, God, this is what you do for people. Look at what you did for Joshua. Look at what you did for Joseph. You are a God who exalts those who wait on you. I'm waiting on you. I'm asking you. Some of you are about to be married. Some of you are about to, you need God to exalt you. For you to have impact in that new role in your life, you need God. You need God to, to exalt you and to make you effective. Even the simplest of tasks can be extremely difficult without God. Again, I speak from experience. Something as simple as cleaning your house. It takes you ages just to get your mind worked up to a place where you say, right, let me get up and clean. Right? You need the exaltation of God. You need the strength of God. You need the power of God to function. Keep acknowledging that and the Holy Spirit can see that. He can see your heart and he'll empower you. He'll empower you to do the impossible. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.